conceited. It's just that you could see upsets for sure. Yeah. You're like staring at it going, wow, this three seed's actually pretty good. And this two seed could be a one seed. Or this one seed is pretty good, but I don't know if he could play against this player and this character. Yeah. And like, there's a lot of that there's going on. There's a few on. unseeded yeah. that like could cause an upset on the third seeds as well. Well, that's like, kind of like where PM is headed, right? Like, yeah. you have a lot of players getting better. And, and I think some of the top players are getting frustrated by it because they feel like it's the game being volatile. But at the same time, we're, you know, can't get frustrated when you were yeah. reaping that and, and having no problem in the beginning, you know? <laughs> players just want to get better. Like, when you find someone with the determination to get better, um, it, they can do a lot of interesting things in a really short period of time. Yeah, look for at, sure. If you, look, if you really think about it, look at the climb that Hyperflame had when he was like, oh, he's a pretty good player from MDVA. Look now at the climb like the that Switch witches. had. Yeah. You know, Switch wasn't talked about ever as like, oh, he's a god or whatever. Now he's just playing really well. Um, Gallo was always seeded in the double digits. Like every really? tournament last year, he was seeded double digits, basically. What in the world? He was the lowest seed in top eight for Olympus. So like, wow. there's, there's a lot of different things where a lot of these top players are able to um, take it up to another level. And then you have these younger players coming in or just newer players coming in that want to improve and want to kind of like, you know, carry the torch. And it's really hard when you have a player that's determined to get better to like, to, to kind of stop them. Yeah, for sure. As long as they want to do it, you know. <laughs> they all decided to truce on red. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> rock, paper, scissors, best two out of three. Oh, my gosh. Oh, goodness. third game. The triple tie. Oh, my gosh. We're going in five. Yes! <laughs> Resla with a pop off from rock, paper, scissors. That's insane. That's a uh, lot of hype for a color. We're going to see Red for E2XD and Resla. And they're going against Dotcom and Dusty. Dotcom, a big uh, Philly player, I believe. Yeah, okay. Um, and then Dusty as well, yeah. So we have Marth and Alamar, a comp you never see, dude. But don't, don't beat me up, I'm sorry. We're going to see it today. I'm working like social media, man. I'm trying to yeah, get dude. the viewers Yeah, tweet it out. Uh, hey, guys, tweet out hitbox.tv slash Clash Tournaments. This tournament's going to be insane. Let's hype up this first project. Then. And then the worst part is my event. phone got wiped uh, the day I started coming here, uh, which two days ago. So <laughs> I didn't have a chance to re-add the BNB oh, no. Twitter. <laughs> so it's like I got to re-log in. Yeah. I got to get the tweets out. It's bad. It's I bad. Left it's my rough, phone. It's I left day. my phone at home on accident. So at some point today, I'm going to go grab that. What's up, Apollo? Well, the cool thing about oh, oh, what's up? I remember you. <laughs> All right, so Apollo, Apollo came here to to gloat, yeah. pop off, <laughs> pop off on the side mic. Uh, it looks like a hand warmer, right? Yeah, it's a I hand warmer. So. Resolute just like ran it. off the stage a second ago. That's one of my favorite things to see from the the double jump characters that you can double jump cancel with when they did that whole platform movement thing. Dude, when uh, Hyperflame did that on that video, oh yeah, dude, dancing around. His I was tech video out. is insane. <laughs> I, was, I was like, what is even? Ha what kind of input is that? You know, like that is so insane. You know, Hyperflame saw me, went to give me a hug, dropped his controller, and didn't even care, and he still That's hugged crazy. me. I was it's, like, it was worth. I was like, I'm it. not worth that. Like, I with the amount of action for a minute, like you probably need that controller to be crisp. You know. For sure. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this game. They are starting off head to head right now. We have E2XD and Resolute versus Dotcom Dusty. Um, ooh, good job from E2XD saving his partner from Dusty. That could have ended in a down air uh, or just a really bad situation for Yeah, du Dusty's playing super aggressive already. He's already looked for two down airs at any opportunity he can get them. Um, the only thing I would be wary of is he also went for a couple forward smashes with Dotcom right there. Yeah, I saw and that. I don't think he really mattered, minded too much. He's like, yeah, whatever. What you're seeing right now is they are separating Dusty and then just focusing on the 2v1.com. They didn't get too much off of there, but at least they know their game plan yeah. already ahead of time. And what you saw also a second ago was E2XD punishing Dusty for grabbing his partner. That's something crucial in doubles if you want to make the most out of your punishes. Yeah, I, I think like in any team-oriented sport or game, you need a game plan to go into, and then you adapt from that game plan. And for sure. you have... You know, in, in the big in the CS:GO community, it's very big to have three default strats on what you're gonna do, and then two or three alternate strats just in case the team plays you very very differently. Sometimes you want to split the red team in the middle, or you want to uh, hold center stage, but maybe the team composition doesn't allow you to do that, so you have to go to an alternate. Like, okay, let's try to two v one. Let's not Edgard as hard. Let's go for the punishes. There's certain things you just have to go for, for sure. 
And it's just like in uh, like sports like football too. Like in your group meeting, you might come up with one plan, but you have others that you can just call the audible. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Call them audible. But yeah, this game is looking pretty even for the most part. Dotcom is down a stock in comparison to the others. But Resolve is not far away from death, and neither is the E2XD. Dotcom getting edge guarded, however. So, oh, all right, that's it <laughs> jumping up there, meeting them. Yeah. Um, Dotcom on his last stock. Um, Dust is doing a good job at tanking the stocks, though. Yeah, he's going to have to continue to do so, though, because they are still down a full one. And unfortunately, Dotcom playing all the more. Like, that recovery is pretty uh, garbageo. Yeah. And uh, it, it definitely cost him at least one. Yeah, where he was just... Oh, oh, no, he has to save his partner right here. That was really good for me to actually... And he lived! Dotcom was able to pop back in there. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he, didn't, he, he used his up already. Man, Olimar, what are you doing? I, know. I don't think Olimar's that bad of a character. I the think his meta is the rough part. Yeah. That's, that's the rough part. That's for sure. His meta is starting to kind of get in there. Like, we have, like, I Heart Love Tap playing a lot more Olimar. Yeah. He's starting to evolve. Like, you're starting to see things that are becoming more uh, mechanical that you know are going to work rather than kind of guessing and making the excuse of like, there's too many Pikmin, there's too much stuff going on. Now, there's something you could do, you could fish for that kind of stuff. And you can see .com right now holding just the one yellow rather than looking for more Pikmin. He wants to have the quicker aerials. He wants to do really good damage. Pulls out the white one, but he's keeping it to a minimum. Yeah, we got a 2v1 right now. We got four stocks for red. This is looking pretty rough for a solo Olimar. I will say, if he had a purple one, I would have given him a 5%. Chance. Oh. But only the purple Like a one. flowered purple one. Ooh. Yeah. Oh no! Okay. E2XD is saying, get out of here, this kills mine. That blue but he might die too. Yep, blue, blue Pikmin, dude. The, okay. the grab range, speed, and the damage, or the knockback is insane. I won't say he's completely back in this, uh, because he's at kill percent from like one link up B or one back throw from Ness. But like, getting those two stocks definitely helps his case. It's also, it puts a little bit of uh, pressure on the other team. Like, we just blew two stocks. And we have unbelievable leads. Like, we can't be doing that. And if, if anything, you're learning about your opponent right now. Because you're not giving away the game. You're learning tendencies that you can bring into game two and try to build off of. Right. And uh, E2XD and Resolve will go ahead and take the first game. Um, that looks like Red Team had a lot better synergy in the sense of, like, yes. knowing what to do in different situations. Dusty didn't get the gimps that he wanted to. And then Dotcom had the... Really, really tough time recovering. Right. And um, one thing Reslip's pretty good at is making sure he's not up being too close to the stage. Or else you'd be seeing Dusty flying out there and just doing aerials yeah. while he's up being, you know? No, absolutely. Because it's it, Marth Fair. Like, that's all you really have to do against against Ness and Lucas recovery. I heard chicken. I was excited. Yeah, time pilot chicken. That's the Tom coolest thing. Time pilot chicken? Time pilot chicken. And Jesus. And Jesus. Those are the, the character type or player type <laughs> for that team. Sick. Yeah, All right. All right. So we're looking at counter picks right now. Um, God, yeah. the team name works on so many levels. Does the chicken go back to meet Jesus? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's so many right. things that work with that. All right, uh, so yeah, we're going to FOD here. I'm not really sure what the pick here really is, besides like Mark being able to cover these lower platforms a bit better. Just like oh, that, oh, Reslip right. sealing that first stock. Yeah, Reslip's looking really good, man. Yeah. Oh my, big cluster. I'm, I don't know, maybe they felt like they wanted to be able to, to just close in and not get separated as much, because yeah. .com did get 2v1 quite a bit, you were mentioning it before, and this would at least close up the area that, Marth isn't exactly the fastest character in the game, so it closes the area that Dusty's got to travel to get to his teammate to help him. Oh my, and that right almost now, just throwing out backers like crazy, and he's hitting all of them. <laughs> For sure, good a dash dancing from Dusty, being able to uh, react off of Reslin's roll. And there's the F smash. Uh, they're trying to even up this game. It's getting close. Percent wise, it's a little rough, but it's not too far off. I think they're playing a lot better this game than the last, for sure. Again, every time red team looks like they're gonna be able to, our blue team gets back into it. What? Red team takes the stock. Did you see that? It was a nest back air into Link's into down, down air. air yeah. I mean, that's why you gotta love doubles, right? There's always this, this the unknown that's gonna happen. Yeah. Team combos are literally my favorite thing about this game. I like doubles so much more than singles. I like to play. It's it's so fun. I love commentating doubles more than singles sometimes, man. There's oh my so much gosh. action going on. Dotcom working off of uh, seeing E2XD down airing and just hits Reslip right into him. Whether it was intentional or not, we'll yeah. say it was. Reslip's still looking for a bunch of back airs on stage. Oh. oh, okay. All right. Yeah, oh, good job for B2XD. Yeah, for sure. 
I was gonna say, you know what, does the opt to just eat up the, the PK Thunder like you saw Soul Patch uh, a set ago against uh, Woody. But really good awareness by TE2XD. Although I don't know if Dusty would have made it back anyway. Yeah, it would have been rough. He went a little too deep. Yeah. Um, oh, good shield. Uh, for those who don't know, if you shield any part of Link's up B, the hitbox is gone. Like yes. you can just go yeah. in and punish. You can dance around in there. Yeah, so if you're Jigglypuff, you can go in and rest. Um, if you're Luigi, you can go in and show you can. If you're into physics, don't pay attention to up. Yeah, it'll just warp your mind. <laughs> And we're seeing the first share stock come out. Uh, Dusty's back in this game. Um, looking for that down air, barely missing it against Reslip. I wonder at that point if Dusty's just got to understand that he's not going to get that and just upbeat, golf and slash away. Because it's, I don't it's know. pretty, it was really evident for a while he wasn't going to get it. it but so those down airs can like change the game. Dot com accidentally SDing, missing that ledge. This is looking a little, little upsetting for Blue. We're seeing the sandwich situation. Oh! Dusty missing that again. e 2 and grabbing the ledge, forcing him on stage. Reslip's gonna get this big punish. And if they can cover this ledge. Oh, great tech! Oh I'm my gosh! And somehow. This is insane. Somehow Dusty's the one that lived. I think Res. Okay, no, no. They're gonna go to the 2v1. If, they, if he can knock out Reslip, this isn't lost by any means. Well, the thing is, too, now, if you're Reslip, yeah. you're still playing super fast. Yo, you play right back. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Which, which means he's going to be able to at least try to rack up some damage on E2XD before Reslip reacts. Yep. And he, uh, Dusty has to make sure he's counting his uh, ledge regrabs here because at some point... It goes away. <laughs> yeah. It's going to go away. Yeah, he's, he's playing very well. I think sticking to the ledge is what to do here and picking your approaches. I think he's trying to sneak by just enough to get that Reslip kill. I think Dusty is trying to get a little punish on oh, no. E2XD and bait out the, the punish from... There you go. Bait out uh -huh. the punish from Reslip. <laughs> He knows, he knows, like, that's the key. Like, I still gotta figure it out. Oh, here it comes again, here it comes again. See, Reslip is thinking uh, oh. twice about these uh, punishes. Because he's using them as a meat shield, you know what I mean? <gasps> if he can get this kill, it's even better. That's gonna be. Oh, he you know what? He had to, because he knew Reslip was coming in quick. Oh, no. This game is too close for comfort, dude. Dusty's insane. They've got. Red's gotta play super safe. Right here, it's oh, the kill! Reslip takes it. Yeah, absolutely. That was really That well was insane. Both the 2v1 situations. If Dusty would have taken that back, that was a wild. That would have been wild. Dude. I think if he takes that, like you have to almost consider they could have won the whole set because that's that's tough to come back from. For sure. All right, well, we're going to continue on to into doubles. I'm actually going to hop off. I've got to play some doubles. We're going to have yeah. Jushichi coming in, in here to commentate with Messi for a little bit. One of our own.